Intermittent fasting causes eating disorders. It's something that one of my clients recently that I've been coaching has been getting people say to her time and time again on her YouTube videos. And I just wanted to go into this topic in as much detail as possible because this is absolutely ridiculous that people is saying this and that they're telling types of people such as the person I've been coaching that instead you should be doing intuitive eating because intermittent fasting such as the 16-8 intermittent fasting method or the one meal a day diet is going to make you form an eating disorder which is absolutely ridiculous for people to say that and I can guarantee that these people actually have no understanding about intermittent fasting or experience whatsoever and they're just throwing their critical feedback and their views that they project onto other people and that they take that on and then it can have a negative impact on them and the way that they see intermittent fasting as well which is just absolutely ridiculous because intermittent fasting from what I have noticed from my own experience of coming from a background of eating disorders where I used to do extreme calorie restriction and then binge that it actually allowed me to overcome that and form the most healthiest relationship with food that I've ever formed and there is so many other people out there that I'm aware of as well that have overcome all different types of eating disorders with intermittent fasting as well and why? Does that happen? Well, it is very, very simple. The door just opened then, so that's why I just turned. It is because most people are so out of tune with their body and they normally eat when they're not hungry and for different reasons such as emotional reasons or boredom or lack of self-love or just some other reasons that are not real reasons to actually be eating but with intermittent fasting it allows you to become in tune when your body is actually hungry so you only eat when you're hungry you're not eating for the wrong fucking reasons it's really as simple as that and I can tell you I've seen so many people time and time again especially in the fitness movement that promote people especially bodybuilders and also such people such as bikini competitive athletes out there and other people that do a lot of competing or people that just want to maximize muscle growth or be as slim and as fit as possible, they do things such as bulking and cutting. So they will just go crazy and eat like five to six meals a day to bulk up and gain as much weight as possible if that's their goal to maximize muscle growth, which is really not good for your health whatsoever it is really really bad it's going to massively shorten your life expectancy that's why bodybuilders really don't live as long as possible and why they're extremely unhealthy and then when they want to get a low body fat percentage as much as possible because they've just been in an excess of calories where they've gained loads of fat at the same time as well they will go on extreme calorie restriction diets so they're just doing this yo-yo dieting and it's just fucking ridiculous because it is just setting you up for binge eating and this is what I see with these people time and time again and there's so many of these people that are big social media influencers that I am aware of that are looked up to by so many different people that don't necessarily think for themselves and just follow what they say and it's just setting themselves up for many different types of eating disorders and it can make you feel really really bad about yourself so it's just not good for people to be promoting that whatsoever. I am someone that promotes intermittent fasting because it's helped me optimize my health, hormone production, digestion. It's made me form the healthiest relationship with food and helped me sustain a body fat percentage and my dream body that is ideal for me to be the healthiest and happiest, best version of myself possible. And I've seen it work for people time and time again. So you know what I say to people that say that intermittent fasting diets out there cause eating disorders? Fuck them. Just don't listen to them. Say fuck off. I am just going to listen to myself and I'm not going to listen to you whatsoever. And yes, what I will say is you could form an unhealthy relationship food with intermittent fasting. If you was going to the extreme where you said, I was going to eat one meal every single week for reasons that are unhealthy reasons, such as I know people that have got into fasting and they're already super skinny and then they do ridiculously long fast and they end up like Jack Skeleton. That's not good at all. That is really sharing a bad message with other people and it's really, really unhealthy. So you need to just look within and ask yourself, am I doing intermittent fasting or even extended water fasting for unhealthy reasons or 
healthy reasons. Are my intentions positive or so-called negative? So it's just you need to be as mindful as possible and just make sure that you're doing it in the most healthiest way possible for the right reason. So then it's going to work the best for you and then you can just have the healthiest relationship with food that you could ever possibly imagine. And before I end the video, I want to make a really good example of someone that is a huge social media influencer that has such an effect on so many different people that watch them where they want to follow what she does. So this is Stephanie Buttermore and she has almost 800,000 subscribers and she has got millions and millions of views across her whole channel. So she, quite some months ago, was prepping for a bikini model contest. So she went on an extreme calorie restriction diet. And then after the competition, what did she do? What every other single bikini model competitor does. And that is she was going on absolute binges where so many times she was binging on 10,000 calories easily. And she was not actually very high in weight whatsoever. So for someone the slim as she was to be able to eat that amount when I couldn't even eat that amount within a day is a sign that she's just done massive extreme calorie restriction for ages. And then she's making these videos, which is just eye candy for people and very appealing. And then they try and do it as well, which is really, really dangerous. And it's also really bad for someone to be promoting that. And now for months, she has just been following a diet where she just allows herself to eat as many calories as possible. And she's been averaging around 5,000 calories a day. And she's now put on around 30 pounds of weight, which is really good that she's stopping herself from doing extreme calorie restriction. But now she's just going from one extreme to the other. You need to find a middle ground. And yeah, it's just like, come on. Stop fucking with your body and messing around. It doesn't know what's going on. You're going from one extreme to the other and it's just not good for your emotional body, your mind, and just your health as a whole. And when you look at her videos, these are some of the top viewing videos that she's got when she's going on these massive binge eating sessions where she's eating 10,000 calories and just eating absolute junk food that's full of so many chemicals and preservatives and additives and it's not good for your health. What? So ever, and these videos get anywhere up to 4 million views. So they're some of our highest earning videos possible, which when that's happening for a YouTuber, you normally want to start recreating more and more and more of those videos. And she's done this time and time again. And actually I think it'd be really good for the males to hear about this as well. So Brandon Hardin, who has round 420,000 subscribers, if I remember correctly, is around 23 years old. And this is really, really crazy what I'm about to explain to you. And it's really fucking stupid. And so many young males look up to him because he's such a influential person on YouTube. And leading up to a bodybuilding show on his massively calorie restricting diet, he found that his desire for food just got out of control. He couldn't be disciplined whatsoever and just went on this crazy binge and feasted on so much garbage and almost ended up having a heart attack at around the age of 23 years old. Which is just like, Jesus man, like come on. Yet he can still continued to just push through and just hope that his life didn't get ended from doing this ridiculous thing. Yes, he's also taking stacks of like what is known as juice, which pro bodybuilders normally take. I'm not going to explain what they are because it could get the video demonetized. But it's like, man, this is really, really bad. You need to be very careful as a social media influencer with what you are sharing with the world because you don't know who's going to start doing it and it could have a really negative, devastating effect on them. This is why I only promote things that are definitely safe for people and work and is not jeopardizing people's health or life whatsoever. And if people think that intermittent fast is really bad, they're absolutely crazy. Like I said, they don't have any knowledge, experience, so you can find so much scientific research. It's so good and so many testimonies from so many people that has changed their life and their health and their weight for the best in so many different ways. And yeah, after the bodybuilding show, oh my God, the amount of junk that he was absolutely eating like crazy, just gorging and gorging and gorging and gorging, just eating so much food throughout the day as much as he possibly can. And guess what? Now he's on a cut diet again. So again, this big, big yo-yo with extreme calorie restriction, bulking, cutting, bulking, cutting. But as we know, people such as bodybuilders, they don't care about their health, unlike the people that watch my video content and also 
myself as well and the people that are surrounded around me in my everyday life. So yeah, before I end the video, as I touched on a bit earlier, is just don't listen to anyone else. If they say that it's gonna create an eating disorder, just shut it out. It's only what you believe about yourself. Just shut out the external noise and fuck them. It doesn't really matter. Like just don't listen to them. It's really, really as simple as that. And that's what I've had to learn over my journey with being a YouTube content creator is there's gonna be so many people that love you and hate you. And some of them are gonna be really positive, some of them are gonna be really hateful and negative, but it's like, man, I just take on the positive comments and I just shut out the negative ones because it's just like, they're just random people that don't know me and they don't know anything that they're talking about, as simple as that. So that's the end of this video. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.